Hello? Your boys are back. We are back with another episode of the Grind Theory Podcast. The Grind Theory Podcast is a podcast that shares the stories, the unique stories of individuals, and dives into their struggles, obstacles, and failures that they face, how they've overcame them, and what they've learned from them, with the hopes to inspire and motivate someone like you and others. See, in society today, we focus so much on the success and all the big win stories, but we don't focus on the failures, the struggles, and the obstacles, and those are the things and those are the times where we learn the biggest lessons. That's what we hope to do with this podcast. So without further ado, let's continue the conversation. Okay, right? And I love I love that you said about attitude. And the thing about always constantly learning. If you don't if you're not learning anymore, it's almost like you're dead. Like like yeah. pretty much because you're not you're not learning, you're not getting better, you're not improving. And without being able to improve, then like you're gonna stay stagnant, right? Yeah. And you can't be successful that way. Yeah, yeah. I think attitude and learning tie into each other because you know an attitude kind of shapes your perspective on 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 learning. So if you if your your attitude can actually hold you back, and your attitude can push push you forward, move you forward. So like for for us especially, like if it's if it comes to like you know if you need to learn a piece or you need to le- learn some chords or how a style is played, it th- like your attitude. If your attitude's mm-hmm. poor, then you're gonna have a really tough That's time fine. getting yeah. understanding what's going on. And yeah. but if you're if you you know you're ready to learn and you're like up in it and you're excited and you're you know you're ready to go, then mm-hmm. the process goes like that. So like mm-hmm. attitude is like very important. Mm-hmm. It's it's yeah. a maker and it's the breaker of the, mm-hmm. breaker of the team or team mm-hmm. process. I think what when Mark talks about attitude, what people confu- get confused is between you know attitude as in mood yeah and then attitude as in mindset mm. see that's the thing see, okay because the attitude the attitude mindset is and the mood is completely two different things mm. right a mood is only temporary and the attitude mindset can is yeah, always a constant see. thing yeah. that remains so yeah <sighs> thank god we recorded yeah. damn <laughs> job right there i love that <laughs> on the on the topic of mindset still when you guys go into, you guys are in rooms with some super successful people. You've been in rooms with Stevie Wonder, you're in rooms with, like, you've seen Snoop Dogg, you Steve, Steve Harvey, all yeah. these really, really successful people. When you get into rooms with these people, like, what is your guys' approach? Like, how do you approach it? Because some people then are like, oh my gosh, Steve Harvey, Ellen DeGeneres, like, you know, how, what is your guys' approach? And not only that, but how do you guys, stay true to yourself but at the same time stand out in those rooms um so talking about you know humbleness so it's um we you know our dad always told us you know never forget who you are and how you mm-hmm. got there we mm-hmm. we didn't we're not you know performing on such big stages because we're named mark seth and zachary mm-hmm. we're we're on that stage because of what we can do you know mm-hmm. that we've practiced for many years in our music that's why we're out there so that's what we always keep in our mind you know you're not famous because of who you are it's what you do mm. so that's wherever we go you know we always and what also keeps us humble is you know practicing our music not thinking oh i'm better than everyone so i don't have to practice right we yeah. always we always want to you know practice the basics also stick to the basics, basics. as well mm. so you know it reminds you you know what where you happens. are yeah so it's a lot of, you know, many factors that can keep you really humble, as well as reading as well. We always mm-hmm. make sure to keep reading, you know, because we always want to keep learning mm-hmm. as well, right? Mm-hmm. So it's always learning new things. You know, I could keep, the list goes on, oh, right? That, yeah. you know, things that will help you stay humble wherever you are, right. right? So, but yeah, that's just a little bit of, you know, what reminds us, you know, you know, keeps us humble, keeps us on the ground, right? So then treat yourself, yeah. remember, remembering what it took you to get to that to this point yeah, where you yeah, are right yeah. now, right? It wasn't just like, oh, I just woke up one day and I'm boom, I'm in this room. It's like a lot of like people that don't that and people don't see it, all the, the effort and the hours that you guys are putting in practicing constantly. Yeah. Yeah, editing, yeah. maybe mix like all that time, maybe trying to get you get to the right note, get the right um yeah, the, the right notes, the right chords, yeah, yeah, sorry, the right chord, yeah. right? So I definitely, definitely really, really like that. So being in those rooms, right, with those kind of successful people 
What would you say are like maybe one or two lessons that you've learned from those successful people? Oh, uh, well, uh, off of I, I remember um, when we met Stevie Wonder, he told us that your voice changes for me. Your voice changes every day. Right. So that's wow. every time you sing, your voice always changes. So that's that. I remember that's what he told me, and he told us to always stick together mm. as a group. And um, a lot of these, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our mentors uh, and the people that we've met always told us to, you know, always keep going and always to, you know, stick together because that's what, you know, that's what people, that's what people really want to see, truly. Mm. And, um, you know, in the past, people used to say, oh, you know, let the brothers go off on their own because, you know, exactly is the most talented, which is not true. Mm -hmm. Right, we all have a share of talent. We all have our strong point, mm -hmm. and we're all individually unique, mm -hmm. right, in a group. But um, uh, yeah, people used to tell us that, but now after a few years, I think people have started to understand mm -hmm. why we've never split up, and that's because you know we know our roles, we know our purpose, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. right. So we've always kept that in mind, and people. Have People lately have been telling us, you know, make sure you guys stick together, mm -hmm. and make sure you guys stick, uh, stick, stick to the course. Mm -hmm. That's what people have been telling us. Stick so. to the course and stick together. Yeah, stick together. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I think what I think too is like I think a lot of people, like they haven't seen there hasn't been many like I don't know many groups that have stuck stuck together. So people almost like expect you guys to break up. But I love like how like defiant you guys are about that and keep in staying together because i think that's really special and unique i think that's makes you guys very unique and very different from everybody else besides your own individual talents the fact that you guys know your roles you understand your roles and are okay with being blunt with each other and like knowing that it's not like to put him down or put anything or would be up above somebody else but it's always to make each other better Right, so I really, yeah. really like that about you guys. Like, I really, really like that. Something that I really admire about you guys. Like, no, that's <laughs> that's yeah, super, super key. So yeah. you mentioned something about your purpose. What is your purpose? As or, oh, sorry, sorry. What yeah. What is your purpose as a group? Uh, oh, what is your purpose as a group? Oh, oh you want to take yeah, I can. First? I can. So and I'd say, um, you know, after you know some years of doing music and uh, we started the gold mine music program and you know we just wanted to um so we started off with giving off instruments i think it was back in 2015 we were doing a lot of you know uh saturday you know in the morning we were and in the day we were doing some classes for kids in the neighborhood in st vincent in mm -hmm. fair hall and um, a lot of our neighbors their kids were coming up on saturdays to do some you know some music classes and mm -hmm. At the end of that, you know, on our, I think it was the last day, we gave away a lot of wind instruments. We gave away some trumpets, guitars, violins as well. And, um, you know, uh, but not only that, uh, when we came back to Canada and we did Ellen, the Ellen DeGeneres show, she gave us instruments. Mm -hmm. So that really inspired us to, you know, it started there. It inspired us to always, you know, give back to your communities, give mm -hmm. back to kids around the world. So... And um, Stevie also gave us instruments as well. So, um, but yeah, we we collect a lot of instruments and we give them to kids who really want to start their musical journey. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if they can't afford instruments as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we always want to create opportunities for kids all around the world. So that's one of our main you know purposes mm -hmm. in our music. We always want to give back. Mm -hmm. You know, let well, others have the same opportunity that you have. Right. Uh, so I love that. Yeah. I love that. And so. I noticed you, when you when you when you're on your guys' live stream, right? You'll be like, "Oh, send stars, send stars." What do the stars do when people send stars into the live stream on your on your gold mine? What does that do? Well, when when people send stars on our live stream, stars or, or super chats, we use those stars to purchase uh, more musical instruments. Okay. And usually, it's our mom who's using, uh, getting, purchasing those musical instruments. And sometimes we go with her to meet who uh, we're purchasing purchasing the instrument from. Uh, and then we would send those instruments that we collected through purchases or donations, and mm -hmm. we would send those instruments to uh, kids, uh, individuals all over the world and specifically uh, 
we are focusing in uh, on uh, in the Caribbean. We are focusing mm-hmm. in the Caribbean right now, uh, specifically on the island of St. Vincent and hey. the Grenadines. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. I like that. I like that. That's 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 very very cool. Um, I like that you guys are constantly trying to give back and make a bigger impact because it's bigger than just us. It's bigger than just the podcast. It's bigger than just the Malizwe brothers. Like it's bigger than that, right? You're always about trying to create an impact for other people who may not be as privileged as us, especially even coming and living in North America. Like we might have we have different opportunities than some of the people back home, you know. Yeah, right. And so being able to and that's kind of part of what Island Grind is as well. It's like, I want to, I believe so much in mindset. And I believe that, you know, when we come from the islands, we don't have the same opportunities and uh, resources that we have here in North America. So we have a different kind of mindset. And, right. I, and I like, I really, really like what you guys are about and the intention behind what you guys do. Mm-hmm. So what is, a, 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 what is the, the message that you guys want to bring through through your music? Oh, well, the message that we want to bring uh, through your music, through our music, yeah. and, you know, speaking from me, because um, I just wanted to share a little bit of about what I thought about it, is the message that, you know, that I'm trying to spread through my voice mm-hmm. is that, you know, you have to know who you are and become who you are, mm-hmm. because that's you know, that's living in your true purpose is by becoming who mm. you, you know, you were created on the earth to be. Mm. Um, I know whoever believes in, you know, God mm. or whoever believes in what, what what religion they believe in is always, you know, the messages say that you have to become what you are truly meant uh, on this earth to be, mm. right? So that's kind of the message that I believe in and my purpose. Mm. I, I love that. How, how do you... Actually, just before I ask you that, does God play a role in your guys' music and in your guys' grind and craft? Yeah, we we yeah. always make sure to you know um, you know remember who we are, and as well we always you know make sure to um, we 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 never forget about God, right? We always want to make sure that He's in our music as well. So um, you know, a lot of people ask us, "Do you do you know gospel songs?" And we say, "Yeah," because mm-hmm. you know we we go to church as well. Mm-hmm. But all through the pandemic, we haven't really been able to go to church yes, because yeah. of that. But yeah, we we always make sure to you know keep God in the yes. image as well. So. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that. God, I think, I mean, uh, we always you know remember do do our best to. You know, like remembering that God is the one who gave, who gifted us, who gave us these mm-hmm. gifts, is all is a part of you know the humbling process, mm-hmm. because you know we receive these gifts, of music from God, and mm-hmm. now we need to use it because I guess, um, like Zach said, there is a message in the Bible, and that is to share the gospel. We have to share our gift which we received, mm-hmm. and we have to inspire other people to use their gifts as well and share their gifts and inspire others to use their gifts too so it's 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 a we want it that's what we want to use our gifts for we want we don't want to keep it to ourselves because yeah. that's it's like honestly that's um if you're just if you use your your talent and you're just using it for yourself you that's a lonely that's lonely mm-hmm. and yeah. We just want to say that you know you don't have to do it like that. There's a there's a better way to go about it because you can help you can help somebody else and then they can go and help somebody else and mm-hmm. you know everybody can help each other and that's I think it's it's a, it's, it's a yeah. cycle. It's a sim- I think it's a simple thing to do, right? Mm-hmm. So yes, yeah. when it comes to you know uh, the things that we don't have control over, mm. like you know when it comes to the color of our skin, mm. you know when it comes to where we are born. You know, those are the things that we don't have control over. And that's the thing that, you know, I usually thank God for. Mm. Uh, you know, I have to be thankful about the things that I don't have control over. You know, the parents that I have, you yeah. know, the type of family that I was surrounded in, yeah. the fact that I have three brothers, yeah. right? And yeah. the fact that I was able to do, to start music, yeah. right? So, yeah, it's always being thankful and being being appreciative so mm-hmm. yeah I, I i really really like that because one of the things that really really um helped me when i was when i was injured was um when i was in the hospital 
I was really negative. I, when I first got in there, I was really negative. I was like, oh, man, how could this happen to me? I worked so hard. Cause I worked so hard. I was really frustrated, you know? And I had an experience with a guy that was in the room just, um, just next to me. And he had actually, um, he, he was in like a motorized wheelchair, right? Uh, and he had lost his left testicle to cancer. And then it spread to his uh, right leg, and he had to amputate his, his right leg. He lost that to the cancer. Mm -hmm. And he started making jokes. He's like, yeah, you know, they had to even me out. And I, I was like, I couldn't, like, I couldn't understand how he was being so joyful. It was like an attitude, right? I couldn't understand, like, how he was being so positive. And that wasn't even the only thing. Like, up to the side of, on, on the side of his stomach, he had a hole, and he had, a, he had like, a, a pouch that was connected to his kidneys because oh. he had to remove his bladder. And so he had to, every time he had to, you know, urinate or do anything, it had to be connected to that. And he said it was like a super painful process. And he had been there for six months and no family had come to see him. Oh, wow. And I was like, man. And he was, but he was so, po like, you wouldn't be able to tell because he was so positive, right? And I didn't understand because I was in my situation. And while my situation was bad, it was nowhere close to what this guy was going through. And that really made a difference in my mind. So I was like, man, I got to really make a change and be grateful. Like, I could be, I could be dead, right? But yeah. I'm grateful that I have life. I had the ability to come back from my injury. Be able, at one point, I couldn't walk. And I can come back and I can walk and do all these things. And it made me really appreciate and be grateful for the little things that you take for granted. Getting up every time and walking or being able to move your hands and stuff. Some people can't do that, you know? Yeah. So I really like yeah. how you said... The, the emphasis and the point on gratitude, being grateful for the things that you can't control, right? That's a really, really big point that I really, really like. So Yeah, I, yeah that kind of, when you shared that story, um, I remember us having that conversation. Yeah. And when you shared that story, that was really touching because, you know, there's some some people that just have ex fortunate, unfortunate experiences. Yeah. I think those you know, we have to use our surroundings as a learning experience. And, mm. Yeah, it's very important. But I really like that story that you shared. So thank you, it really man. touched me, man. No, I, I, I think, uh, thank you for that. It was, uh, it was something that, like, it, it completely changed, it completely changed me. Like, if, if that didn't happen, and I'm really, you know, it's easy, I can easily say, oh, it was a bad thing, but I don't regret it at all. Like, I'm very grateful that that happened to me because if it didn't happen to me, I don't think I might have been here in this situation to even be have a chance to interview you guys. Yeah. Or, you know, like, it, it, because of that experience, it really changed my mindset and my perspective on a lot of different things. And now I have the opportunity to be introduced to you wonderful guys and be able to listen to you guys' story and to, you know, feed out. Like, you guys, like, you don't understand. You guys inspired me and motivated me so much right just from what, how you guys are talking the way you guys are staying connected you know like, yeah, i yeah. really 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 appreciate that and i really like that yeah, yeah. you inspire us too Akil. oh yeah. <laughs> thank you man thank, hey. you, thank you thank you thank you cry on the set man yeah <laughs> but um but kind of like winding down here a little bit i want to ask you guys what is one like kind of major lesson that you guys would give to other people that are trying to follow the same kind of path that you guys are, are on? Oh, uh, well, uh, first starting with me, um, the first uh, advice that I would give is to anybody who has, you know, has something that is good at, and I would give this to an individual, you know, uh, who, uh, for, or anybody who's good at something, you know, uh, I, would, I would tell them that it's all about you know taking action mm -hmm. in the things that you do because mm -hmm. that I think that's the difference maker is the fact that you're able to take action and stay committed mm -hmm. right and um, yeah it's to read a lot of books as well mm -hmm. and around that around around sure. that topic yeah right so I think that's a lot of the thing that's that's what kind of helped us to get started and to keep going and to keep pursuing our, our music to stay active to stay you know committed and to take action whenever it is needed so mm -hmm. yeah I like that I like that I like that yeah but I'd like to share mm -hmm. um, to uh, somebody pursuing their gift or their talent is that every day counts every mm -hmm. day every day you spend practicing um, every 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 half every hour um, every 
every day it, it, it all counts it all adds yeah, up to mm-hmm. becoming from from going to good at something good at many things to becoming great at your special thing that one thing that you know makes you uh makes you special right that mm-hmm. gift and and it's a it's going to be a long it's a long journey it's a long yeah. journey to becoming great or good at something right. but it's to spend yes. every day because where where you start now you you don't sound good <laughs> you're not going to sound good <laughs> but once you keep with it when you keep yeah. with the journey consistency you'll consistency yeah you'll yeah. you'll get there oh, that's that's uh so do you have anything to yeah also um you know it's Remember to be careful with the books you read as well. Mm. Not just any regular book. Mm. You know, look for a lot of books with topics like what can help you with your mindset. So that can be mm. attitude, um, how successful people think. As mm. a man thinketh, a lot of those books we read mm. starting out, you know, can help you, you know, clear, you know, a lot of the fog that mm. the world is shielding you, you know, from your what you could be, right? So it's, mm. you know... It, um, Read a lot of those types of books and also, you know, limit the, the, the many things you do. You may have so many hobbies, but, you know, it can't be many things. It has to be, you know, focus on the one thing that, you know, stands out, you yeah. know, that makes you extraordinary, right? So I'm going to yeah. take that advice because I, sometimes I struggle yeah. with all these different things that I want to do, but... I'm man. It's, I'm, like I said, I'm very happy that we recorded it because I have to yeah. go back and take all these points that you guys are really making. <laughs> um, one thing actually that I wanted to ask is before I go to the kind of the final question is, you guys know each other so well. You know, like I said, you guys have formed a great close knit group where you can be blunt and and direct with each other, right? And what I wanted to know was what. You guys have all these different strengths that complement each other's weaknesses, right? I want to know, what are your strengths? But I want you guys to answer this question in a unique way. So I want one of the other brothers to tell me what the other brother's strength is. So, for example, like I want Seth to tell me what Zachary's strengths are. And Zachary, I want you to tell me what Mark's strengths are. And Mark, mm. I want you to tell me what Seth's strengths are. Ah, <laughs> I see. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, um, starting with Zachary, well, Zachary's, um, you know, strengths is that um, when it comes to music, he's the, he's the, he's the music man, right? So he's mm-hmm. doing the mixing and everything like that. So without him, you know, it'd be a lot hard. It's not that Mark and I can't do it. It's just the time that it takes us. The time yeah. and energy would take very long. So without Zachary, you know, you, again, you have to be grateful for, you know, mm-hmm. each other in the group. So, but Zachary, yeah, he's our music man strongest when it comes to that you know the lead singer as well yeah. he helps us out with a lot of our music and you know that's zachary's yeah. his strongest point yeah. in our group right that yeah. he's he's very you know capable of many things in music yeah. so yeah, yeah. I, that's what i'd say zachary's his strongest point is okay yeah yeah okay. um when it comes to seth oh i'm no. doing seth oh yeah, yeah. Doing seth? Seth. Okay. <laughs> so when it comes to mark mark is always putting a, a lot of effort into what he does so mm. If you see him writing, if you see him, you know, practicing, it's always, he's it's always, uh, you can hear him repeating it mm-hmm. constantly yeah. every time. Yeah. So he's always, one thing I learned about him is that he's always, uh, it's always about close, getting close to perfection. It's not about perfection, perfection. It's yeah. close to that. That's possible. So, yeah, Mark is always about, you know, staying Thing on that grind. Mm, I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Seth's strength. Um, I think Seth's strength uh, when it comes to uh, you know, as his his support or his strength in our group is that Seth is he's blunt. He's yeah. blunt. <laughs> and, you know, very very blunt, and he holds nothing back. So <laughs> when uh, when it comes to um, telling you the truth, Seth straight up yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, <laughs> and, and and honestly, uh, <laughs> right? And and honestly, um, I don't really like. I don't like it most of the times, you know. But um, but I'm I'm thankful because 
Seth, there's not. I I don't think there's another person like Seth that I that I would be able to really find that could tell me what I'm doing mm-hmm. wrong or actually point out mm-hmm. my mistakes yeah. as as clearly as Seth okay. can. So mm-hmm. um, I'm um, uh, so Seth is a big part of when it comes to you know mm-hmm. um, you know focusing and and yeah. focusing our minds yeah. on what we actually need to work on. So. Yeah. If if Seth had if Seth was in a room with two different people other than us. I don't think they would last. It's, just, it's too much pressure, man. It's like whenever you're having a, a debate or conversation about something, Seth will just Seth will always be blunt. So if if there's any like for example, if we're having like a fun conversation, if there's any misfit information, he'd be like, "Where do you get that from?" I'd be like, mm, 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 I, 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 "I got it from the internet. I got it from somewhere." But, mm. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See? But what I actually love, just like how you just did it right there, it just shows me how in tune you guys are with each other. The fact that I just asked you on the spot, what are the strengths of the other brother? And you could just tell me right away. You need It wasn't even three, four minutes. There wasn't even a minute time in between. right? You told me right away what the other brother's strength was and the role that they play and how it how it helps you guys. You know, so I like man. I love, I love that. I really do. Oh man, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's funny because Seth reminds me of my uh, my younger brother. He's way younger than me. He's like he's twelve years old, but he is the most ruthless, blunt person I have ever <laughs> met in my life. Like he makes me feel bad, and I'm way older than him. I'm like, I'm like, like man, what's going on? Like, like I'm your older brother, you know? Like, like, chill, bro, like, chill, chill, man. Like, chill, <laughs> relax, man. Relax. Shout out to Aiden, my boy. Shout out to my man. But um, no, that's that's super 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 dope. I really really like that. And um, now, kind of winding down here, the one question that we always 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 ask on the podcast is, what is your theory of the grind? Now, I want you guys to answer this question. You guys all answer it, but you don't have to answer it separately. But all provide some input. So it doesn't matter who goes first. I'm gonna get all of you. So, <laughs> so, so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, the theory of the grind. So, um, there's a lot of factors that can cover, you know, the grind. Um, one of, the, I'd say, one of the most important ones is when you spend quality time, and you know, not just regular time. You can spend time on some, you know. I'm just gonna put a little bit of time here, but when you spend quality time on something, that's when you know that you put practice and you know you know you put a lot of effort into it so mm-hmm. and that's what our dad told us mm-hmm. when you're practicing don't just go and practice mm-hmm. make sure you don't go and practice for you know just a 10 minutes yeah. you know always make sure that you you know you you are improving every mm-hmm. day right mm-hmm. so always trying to learn something so when you start out it might not you know you might not start out with a couple of hours you might start with 30 minutes and then Eventually, when you start improving, you might go to an hour, to two hours, to three hours, to, you know, involving in, you know, every day, you know, making sure you got a couple of hours of, you know, whatever you're great at, right? So it's it's spending quality time, making sure mm-hmm. that, you know, you know, you're always learning, mm-hmm. you know, trying to always progress because you don't want to stop at one That's part and time. stay there too long or else yeah. then it's going to get stuck there. Yeah. It's hard to move, move on, on. But yeah, so quality, I'd say quality time is one of the most important factors of you know, the grind. That's what I think it's. Okay, yeah. I like that. Okay. And ending on what Seth said, when it comes to the grind, it's always late nights. Mm. You know, it's always mm. late nights and um, putting in the hours. And it's all about staying consistent. Mm. So, you know, if you're going to do that, you, you got to stay consistent and be dedicated towards it and always having a it's, it's always about having a repetitive schedule mm. that keeps you that will keep you going mm-hmm. so the grind is all about you know staying consistent yeah. and you know committed so yeah. i like that okay i like that i like yeah. that and yeah. lastly i i like to add on to that in say but a part of staying committed to the grind uh spending time 
making sure that you're actually putting enough time in into your work is to stay focused. Mm. And and your focus can be very easily lost. It's very mm. it's so yeah. easy. There's so many distracts. There's yeah. so many distractions in today's world. Mm -hmm. And 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 so that's why it's it, sometimes you need help to stay focused yeah. because without that, without somebody to kind of you know hey, you know like that yeah. for you you, you can yeah. run off track and yeah. you, and it takes and you know what it's it takes time to get back yeah. on track again mm -hmm. and and so that's why it's so important that you stay focused and if you have a team if you have somebody mm -hmm. that you can lean on or a, a, like a team they can tell you you know hey you got to get back on track you got to get you got to stay focused mm -hmm. and uh and 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 if you have that team you got grateful for it and, mm. and you know you have to do the same thing for them as well because sometimes they need somebody to tell them that they need to get back in focus mm. and if you don't have that team like if you don't have a family that's with you you can find family you can mm. you can search for somebody that can become like family yeah. and you guys can you can work together and you can help each other stay focused on in in the grind mm. right so yeah, I like so, that yeah. so quality time not always quantity, but quality time. It's getting yeah. the right quality time into your craft. Being consistent with that quality time on your craft. Yeah. Right? Consistent and staying. Consistency is very key. Because if you're not consistent, then if, if I'm coming to the gym one day, I lift, I lift, oh, I do all, hit all these, all these benchmarks, and then the next day I'm at home sleeping, I'm, not, I'm losing all that progress. And staying focused, which is a part of staying focused. In order to stay consistent, you gotta stay focused. In order to, all of those things, man, all of those things connect with each other. Yeah. In order for you to spend quality time, you need to be consistent. But in order for you to be consistent, you need to be focused. Yeah. So I love how they all all join in together, man. I have one last last question. One last question. I wasn't gonna ask, but one last question, just because you brought it up, was distractions. How like. You guys are performing at all these places. You guys are good-looking young men. Like, there's got to be, I don't know, girls or, or other things, you know, whatever happens. <laughs> but how do you guys stay focused? How do you handle distractions? Well, yeah. Um, you know, distractions may not only be that, but it could be other things. Like, you know, sometimes you may slack off, go watch a little YouTube or mm -hmm. do a little that. But, you know, we always make sure to, um, you know, uh, have just so that's why it's important to you know have your brothers they can you know one brother can say you know come on let's let's get back to practice or let's get back to rehearsing this or you know whatever let's get back to school work you know come on Zach stay on track it can be like those kinds of distractions too right but yeah it's always and also mom and dad are, are there as well mm -hmm. so they always remind us you know to keep going and stay on track, track. you know it's not like it's like a super strict life where you yeah. say, oh, it's music yeah. and this is school, you know. You know, you may slack off a little bit, but, you know, um, it's, it's, it's also, you know, good to have some leisure time or some fun and do something. 100%. But, yeah, we always have to make sure that, you know, you have someone to, you know, bring, just like how Mark just said, right, you always have someone to, you know, bring you back on track, right? So that's what it is. Okay. And, if you, and if you don't have, if you don't have like a close family to uh, help you stay focused, or you know, um, it's it's kind of like knowing, like it's 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 easy to tell what's distracting you, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's just putting yourself in a place where you don't meet, you don't come face to face with those distractions. So sometimes it's like isolating yourself, you know. Maybe it's like getting in a separate room, or yeah. it's 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 kind of like uh, being a little bit like more uh, action, taking an action to staying focused, right? So it's like everyone knows what you need to do, but it's it's again, it's about following through, executing. Zachary said, like Zach yeah. said, it's about executing and make and actually doing it, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So and just like Mark said, these things are not easy to do. No, no. These are. <laughs> I, just going back to the days when it was late nights yeah. and what we and we still do late nights now it's like nothing yeah right to us but going back to days when we started and it wasn't natural for us Hard. it's 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 just it's always that mm. right so just reminding the kids who are watching this the mm -hmm. adults who are watching us <laughs> yep. this is not easy it's not easy <laughs> they make it look easy but it ain't easy it they're putting not, hours and hours of time behind the scenes yeah trust me yeah man this moment right here is your moment to tell us 
anything that you have upcoming. This is like I'm not even gonna be on the mic. This is this is all you. Tell me what's upcoming. What you guys have planned. I just I'm gonna come out the frame. Even you know, it's all you. <laughs> well, everyone, we have four original songs coming out pretty soon. And what we're planning to do is that we're gonna be releasing one song for every month of the year. So stay tuned, everyone. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Yeah. Oh, also, is there anybody you guys want to shout out? Oh, um, yeah, of course. Shout out to SVG, uh, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. Hey, yeah. Bo, 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 bo. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, shout out to our parents as well. Yes, shout yes. out to, you know, our supporters watching on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook channel. And, you know, thank you so much for tuning in. And, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the, the Island Grind podcast, YouTube Grinding channel. podcast. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Yes. Uh, all right. I'm the greatest. Stop me, yeah. I'll keep trying, I won't stop fighting. I'm gonna change the world. I can be anything. Go, my, go, my. I've gotta go. Things. I work hard, I make it happen. That's why I'm unstoppable. Yeah, I'm indestructible. Everybody has a gift inside them. I won't let anybody stop me. I'm number one. I'm number one. Academics, it can be athletics. No music. Whoa, academics. Athletics or music. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I can be anything. Go, my, go, my. I've got to go, my, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my. Let me hear you say, go, my. Super dope. I got a gold mine. I Woo. wanted to jump in, but I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to ruin anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it is an absolute, absolute pleasure to have you guys on. Thank we got to big up SVG one more time. Oh, big up, yeah. right. Sir and the Greater Days, Union Island. Yeah. Big up, big up, big up, big up. It was a pleasure to have you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing next, and we will definitely stay tuned. Make sure you guys stay tuned to everything that's coming up. They got big things in store. You guys see how they think. You see how they operate. Like, it's not by chance that they're doing this. It's not by chance. They're putting in the time and the effort, even if you can't see it. And they're going to be great. They already are, but they're, they're going to be greater than they already are. Big things are coming, guys. But, like always, comment, subscribe, like. It is. Make sure you guys go and follow the Melissa Bay Brothers. And, and we will be back next time.